guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being slightly more patient this week. Drew and I got like horribly ill over the weekend and so there was no filming going on over the weekend and then Monday and Tuesday were also kind of a wash for me. Today I wanted to do a what's on my wish list video. Now I've seen this video go around a couple different times on different booktubers channels and I've always found them really interesting because to me, when you actually want to buy a book rather than just read it, it kind of says to me that you are more invested in this book or this author in particular. So I personally am very, very picky when I actually buy books because I am a huge, huge believer in the library and I use my library all the time. I'm looking at a, a pile of, of six books that I picked up yesterday because I went a little bit overboard on the hold button uh, over the weekend. I have six books here that are currently on my wish list. They're currently in my like Amazon book depository cart waiting for me to probably get my tax return so I can buy some more books because that's what us book people do with our tax returns. Okay, so number one is Star Nomad. Now this is the start of a new series. For me, it has been out but it's a, it's a new book for me. So this is a sci-fi book. So it says, the Alliance has toppled a tyrannical empire, but for the pilot, Elisa Marchenko, it also means she is stranded billions of miles away from her daughter. And basically she's gonna go and she's going to go on this journey to get back home. But they kind of pick up like a ragtag group of people that are also going to try and get to various places and do various things. This was really sold to me by uh, one of my favorite sci-fi fantasy booktuber people, Books and Pieces, who if you haven't checked her out and you are into sci-fi, definitely check her out because she's got fabulous reviews. She gets me into like the craziest sci-fi. I read Nine Fox Gambit off of her review. She said that this is for people who really like Star Trek and Star Wars and Firefly and it's got kind of the same feel as A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and that line alone is what sold me. I was like, I don't even care about the rest of the rest of the story. If this book is anything like that book, it is exactly what I've been wanting to read for sci-fi. Next up is Double Dutch, and this is a short story collection. They're all kind of magical realism short stories. I was overzealous while I was pouring my water for my tea. You can see it's way up there at the brim. Where are we going while we were is gone was recommended by the same person, so I'm hoping that I will like this one equally as much because I loved that one. Third up, I have Tropic of Serpents, which is just the second book in the Dragon Naturalist series. It's the Lady Trent memoir series. Just really digging the like female scientist vibe that she gives off. It's really cool, really cool Victorian memoir. I would definitely check out the first book. So I'm hoping that we get even more like technical details about dragons because I thought that was the most fascinating part for me. I loved that. It's not a real big action book, but I'm super excited to carry on with the series. I read the first one, I think about a year ago now. I think I read it in June. So next up, I have Human Acts by Han Kang. Now I talked about this one a little bit, I think in a previous video. Um, I read The Vegetarian last year, really, really loved it. Definitely want to keep on reading her books. Uh, Human Acts sounds fascinating. It takes place during a violent student uprising in South Korea. It follows a boy who has been killed and a mother of another student who has also been killed. And I don't remember if... I think you follow along as this boy's ghost as he's trying to find his sister. It sounds really horribly sad. So the next one up is Blitzed Drugs in the Third Reich by Norman Oler. This basically is exactly what it sounds like. It is looking at the use of drugs in Nazi Germany uh, going from basically the civilian level all the way up through Hitler and what that meant for German society basically. So I've heard a lot of people say that this sounds like an excuse that you can give Nazi Germany for being horrible people. That's not the way that I see it. I see it more of as a, I think that would be a very interesting aspect of looking at uh, Nazi Germany and just kind of looking at the climate that the country was in. But we shall see if that is how it ends up being. I will definitely let you guys know because that's obviously not okay. And I've always found that a really interesting topic, kind of historical drug use and how, you know, there used to be cocaine in Coca-Cola and that's why it's called Coca-Cola. I just think that's just a very interesting um, aspect of society, how we, we find these drugs, we then use them, and then they were everybody's like, oh wait, hang on, those are awful for you. And finally, we have A Modern Way to Cook by Anna Jones. Now this is a cookbook. And this is actually quite different from a lot of the cookbooks that I own because this is vegetarian primarily, if not completely 
it is primarily vegetarian. And I think cooking vegetarian and vegan is not only better for the environment and better for you, but also makes cooking more challenging for me. Those are the six books that are currently on my wish list. I can't wait to get to some of these. If you guys have any books that are currently on your wish list, if they're new releases, if they've been out forever, please let me know down below. I love watching these kind of videos. Link me your videos if you have something like this, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.